happy Monday. We are here and ready to go for you be soft. You be soft. I be soft. Brad be Brad. Uh huh. Yes. Video, video game streams. I remember them like they uh-huh. were just yesterday. Like they were just yesterday. Alex, just like yesterday. We're here to go get, um, before we miss it, I'm going to put this up here. We're getting started in just a minute here on the Ubisoft uh, forward. Is that what it is? That's sure. what we're calling it. Sure. I'm going to say forward. Sure. Ubisoft forward, not forward. Less than U- a minute here. Ubisoft forward. Um, yeah, we're going to get started in just a second here. I don't know. Splinter Cell Division, Star Wars, you name it, I think, we've got it. I think yeah. the known quantities are Avatar and Assassin's Creed at this point. Beyond that, and, you can guess. And, then Star, and Star Wars Outlaws, which they yeah. Yeah. fully announced yesterday. That's that's massive, the Division developer. Which massive. They announced, that, they announced that two or three years ago, but it's the first time they've named and shown it. I bet we get I'm gonna that. say probably not a division three here. No, no, they showed that no. um they showed that thing already. They announced that yeah. division stuff already, but I bet they'll show it more. I forget what it is. It's division something something, home, right? Home something homeland or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, All right. Yeah, there's some more division stuff coming. But um uh hat hair in the chat mentions the Mario and Rabbit DLC that hasn't come out yet. I assume okay. they're still doing that. Yeah, I wonder if we see it here. I wonder how long this will be. I wonder what this is. I'm it's gonna just guess dance. like an hour. An hour, you think? We're gonna get James Cameron. No, no. At most, at most, you get a James Cameron Zoom call, and it's not very long. That was mm. that was a once in a lifetime appearance. Uh oh, mm-hmm. have they transitioned to somewhat live? Yes. Wait, are they in opening, a place? Opening jazz hands. Are they in a? Oh, I thought this would just they be a pre-recorded a thing. I can't. This could still be or pre-recorded, this, but it's got a yeah, real this, live look to it. Yeah, you can tell it's live because it's high frame rate. <laughs> well, high-ish. When I checked the uh, stats on this, it looked like they are streaming at 1078 at 60 frames a second because Ubisoft loves to just be a little different. 1078? I, I don't know. Is that uh, an is that a resolution? No. I mean, okay. it, it's a number. Okay. <laughs> Ubisoft you know, still, still dancing. 2023. It's been a while since we've gotten one of these opening dance numbers from them. So yeah. sure, why not? Sometimes these feel like um, <laughs> like forced smiles from Ubisoft because sometimes you know the bit with all the business stuff that goes on, it's just like just be happy, just get out there, Ooh. fake it till you make it. Just be. Sp- show them how much you love working for us. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah, because let's be real, it's not all smiles in there. Mm-mm. Olympic eSports official licensed event. I don't know what that means. Olympic eSports official licensed event. Is breakdancing in the Olympics now? Breakdancing is in the Olympics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, so it totally Oh, is, is. it? Yeah. Not an e- that's, oh, that's not awesome. an eSport, though. Is Just yeah. Dance an eSport? Uh, gosh, is Just Dance an eSport? That... I don't know how to feel about that sentence. <laughs> I really, yeah, <laughs> you really, you really broke something inside my head. I can't <laughs> have my brain broken this severely <laughs> this early into this conference. We still have like 58 minutes to go. <laughs> oh, geez. Whoa. 40 new universes? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. Is that what we're calling the weird shadow backgrounds they do in those games? <laughs> shadow backgrounds. That's always like the weird outline of the person. Is oh, just a bunch sure. Of like, yes, you know, yes. like a bunch of weird, like green screen garbage behind them. Shadow backgrounds also sounds like the next Splinter Cell game. Hmm. Wait, they got Ubisoft games at this thing? That's weird. Wild. I guess they're partnering up. Oh, this has to be Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a digital James Cameron. Having reviewed the previous Avatar game from Ubisoft. Uh huh. Um, I'll reserve judgment. Okay. It has been some years since that one. I still have not seen Way of Water. The RDA's breed poisoned. Same. Same. 
You know what? Um, you know what Norm said when I talked to him about using that Apple Vision Pro was he said watching Avatar two in that thing was the best thing he did. Okay. Mm. Is that a backhanded compliment or no? No, he was like a tremendous insult. No, I mean it was it was like it was like oh this is the this is the only thing that replicates the experience of like three D IMAX that I've seen this in. Under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Navi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. A weird movie. And there I remained for 15 years. Until one day, I awoke. Get a little more stream audio. I just put it up. Do you want to? Uh, you want even okay. more? I'll give it a second. Right, let's just see. Let's see if. Let's see what people say. Free it's good. It's good. Okay. Some people say more. Some saying it's good. Yeah. You do okay. whatever. You yeah, I'll give it a little more. I'll give it a little more. It sounds pretty loud to me. A little juice. But I'll give it a little. Juice. We know. We know this was a first-person game, or is it a first-person game? Or is this just? I don't know. Do. Ease. What is a person, Red? A weird blue guy? Is there like an avatar system anymore, or is it just Navi at this point? I think, didn't he, didn't he just like fully... I thought he committed, didn't he? Like, didn't he like fully again. move over at the end of the first one? Don't let the Navi get in our way. Is that, is that the new Every evil slick back hair Corpo guy? I have a choice to make. I don't like Dom Hall Police. Oh, damn. Still unclear what of this is gameplay. Okay, I get this. This has to be a first person game. Looks like I am a died in the bar hater, so this is. I'm going to be real. This is not doing a lot for me. <laughs> I was a child of two worlds. Just being honest. Uh huh. I, I I have I have no affection for Avatar, but like I think this looks Navi. decent, like graphically, and also if some of that first-person action stuff is legit, that doesn't look terrible. Oh, certainly better than the last one. I can tell you that. Oh, Hi there. oh there you go, there Brad. Put on your bingo card. Of Avatar and Avatar: The Way of Water. Okay, he definitely filmed this in the middle of the press of junket. Films, <laughs> I set out to imagine another world. A world as rich and complex as our own. And we wanted the audience to feel as though they were really on Pandora, to dream with their eyes wide open and to explore this world with our characters. And it's always been our vision to embrace technology to allow us to find new ways outside the cinema to immerse people in this world. <laughs> our friends at Ubisoft share the same ambition. One and the take, team James. at Massive have been pushing the boundaries of what's possible in games <laughs> to bring a new corner of Pandora to life. If you were just so watching this, Avatar, you could so easily mistake him for like this gentle, thoughtful, like pleasant man. To share mm -hmm. their insights like this, this gives like no sense of <laughs> for experts in creating living, like festering asshole worlds. inside. Together, oh, you know, the second that like this ended, like he was just like, all right, that uh, fucking bullshit's done. Now let's get fucking Lights Camera Jackson in here. Ask me the dumbest questions alive. Original story that coexists with the events of the Avatar films. We can't wait for you to join this adventure. I, I know people who have worked with him personally. To you back <laughs> mm -hmm. to the world of he's, Avatar. He is exactly that guy. We can't what? wait for you to join this Take adventure. Take your cut. And we look forward what? to welcoming it's... you back. No, you to weren't the world done, Jim. Avatar once again. <laughs> That's not James Cameron. Hello, no. My name is Dita Dane Phil. And as the game oh. director, I'm proud to be representing the team behind Avatar Frontiers of Pandora today. Wait. And excited Asif to share doing a this game too? Of what we've been working on. That's what they said, yeah. That's what James said. Massive, story, massive has become truly massive. Of discovery mm -hmm. To unravel the mysteries of your past, learn what it means to be Navi, and explore new parts of Pandora on land or together with your trusted banshee in the air. Our ambition is to create a playground where curiosity is rewarded. This tangible and highly immersive first-person experience 
will allow you to closely what connect to a beautiful in this world, context. touch and interact with it, using your size, your superhuman strength, and your natural agility to gain the upper hand. As the Navi say, Sivako, let's rise to the challenge on December 7th. Until then, we're delighted to show you a glimpse of this adventure. So December 7th. So prepare to lose yourselves in the beauty and the danger of Seems the like a small audience. Here. Thank you. Yeah, they're not in a big theater. So that's a really, like, early 2000s press conference vibe to it. We're completely cutting away from the room audio when this starts is weird. It's like you yeah, a very jarring start. way. Yeah, and, and they're, like, stop. slightly off track. Like, they have two different feeds or slightly off from each other. Like, the, yeah, the it direct feed. Wonder, it almost makes me wonder if all that stuff was pre-recorded. It's okay. Well, live live shows are hard. We know. Frontiers of Pandora, a first-person action-adventure game that invites you to explore the engaging world of Avatar in an immersive open-world experience. That looks good. I'm Dean Felt, game director, this looks and I'm like excited to reveal high quality. what's waiting for yeah. you. Yeah, I mean the thing is, it's a it's a world that the invites like when the video game adaptation in terms of like visual frontier. style. Like it's definitely a thing you can just throw John a lot Marcy, of graphics at of and of the create something that I think is pretty visually appealing. It's the, the rest of Avatar that I think I'm humans, just not hoping to mold a fan you of. And turn you against your own people. ferns. But its plan is interrupted by the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryo sleep. When you awaken, there's something about it. And, and this is very cynical, but there's something. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just honest. There's something about it that seems extremely forced marketing you set out to, to me. That like, down. like, oh, you want to dress up as a Navi? You want to buy the Navi thing? Sure, <laughs> there are a lot of people who do. Yeah. So you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage. Is this a, like an original story? Does this have anything to do with the new movie? On your adventure, or it kind of seems like it's a side story. As you or at, or at this point, is this a tie-in for the next movie, which is not that far off? Each with their own I mean, it could be any of the next three movies, <laughs> or four, or however many of them there are. Is the third one this year? Vegetation in the oh, next year. I think it's on an every two-year cadence, if I remember yeah. correctly. This yes, that's correct. This is the home of the Aranahe, a clan of peaceful weavers. Who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight? Okay, so this apparently Gr Jeff Grubb apparently said this one takes place during the second way movie. To the rookery, where you I don't think it's just the story of the second movie, but it takes place Ikram. during that time. The Ikran is a devoted companion that you can name, feed, and customize. Experiment with acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive from the sky and explore the open world of Pandora from the air. If you travel north, you'll get to the Upper Plains, an expansive grassland filled with contrasts and open views as far Truly, as it is a land of contrasts. The nomadic Seswa clan live here in symbiosis with gigantic beasts called Sakru. Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. And further west, the mysterious clouded forest where hidden in the mist, nothing is as it seems. Here lives the Kamatiri, a clan of healers with their own dark reasons to stay hidden. <laughs> RDA operations are threatening the balance of Pandora. Meanwhile, war crimes. They build crimes. facilities of all sizes to exploit resources at any cost, spreading devastating <laughs> pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. Oh no! You'll and like I don't know, some of this seems like a little. Your home. And when you are ready, on the you nose. Take the fight to them. Yeah, I mean that's and that's Avatar. Yeah. yeah, you can learn like, to master multiple really combat styles. Really simplistic here. Powerful like, instincts. It, it's so on the nose. Jim Cameron is literally pressing Mark up your against your face, being like, "Look, <laughs> colonialism <laughs> is bad." Yeah. Okay, right, right. and I agree with him, but he yeah. doesn't have to deliver it that way. Is all I'm saying. It's just like the staff sling to set up traps. This is right there. Like yeah, we, didn't, some, we, some, we didn't have to make up a whole alien species to tell this story, right? We have the yeah. story. Or go bigger with the Numerous people rocket. in the Twitch chat you can also kind of correctly the identifying this sure does look like Far Cry. <laughs> yeah. In a, lot, in a lot of ways. Ikran will help you in aerial combat against the RDA. Destroying RDA facilities will have a tangible impact on your world. 
<laughs> Will there be towers? Can I climb With the them? the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You'll be able to harvest the best quality material again and craft better gear and weapons. <laughs> uh huh. You will uh -huh. also find ingredients to cook mm -hmm. and make meals to get stronger. Can I, like, say, kill 10 of an animal and make a better wall? It means to become Navi. You'll improve your skills by connecting. No, you have to, to kill Aeda ten Marines, and then you make a wallet and learn out of them. From the out of their of skin. Mm -hmm. Now Skill we're talking. upgrades can improve many aspects of your character, such as your natural agility to move through the world, your stealth approach when hunting or fighting, or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora is a captivating action adventure game designed to maximize the power of new gen consoles and PC. You will be able to play the Excuse full me, story campaign gen? in single player or with a friend online okay, in that's neat. player co-op. I like that. Oh, okay, yes. Right. We invite I you know, to also explore a far this world of wonder. <laughs> Become uh -huh. Navi and take down the RDA to protect Pandora. They seem to have made a very pretty video game. I, again, yeah. the universe is still not a thing I want to engage with, but I feel like it looks good. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I have, I have no real attachment to it, but it, I don't, it's not, like, super off-putting either. I'll, I'll give that a yeah. try. Sure. I'll, I'll try that. I mean, Ubisoft has a lot to prove with open world games these days. I feel Yo, like they're, they're, like, the prime offenders of too much open world. Oh, here we go. But it could be cool. Another one. This feels great. Jesus, what is this? Oh, I'm going crazy. I'm going next game mode. I should know. Okay, look, I'm not just trying to be a hater here, I swear, but I'm pretty sure that was just the same guy. It's just oh, the same guy every time. This is, this is X Defiant. I say their bitrate on their stream a little low. Mm. Yeah, I bet those uh, Phase Clan inclusions probably seemed a lot less problematic a few days ago. Gentle. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm so excited about this game in general. I mean, I love, like, the pacing of the game, though. I think, like, it, it all just works. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that game. Hello, everyone. Yeah, hey, hello. okay. My name is Mark Rubin, uh, executive producer on X Defiant. Uh, what you just saw was a collection of live clips and reactions from players streaming our game during our closed beta test in April. Uh, and we've been absolutely overwhelmed by the amazing response to our game from players all over the world. Now, for us, community has really been the core of this game's development. And we've had 28 public tests so far, with the recent closed beta being the largest, and of course, the first with no NDA. And throughout now we're finally all ready for human tests, testing. We've done our best to listen and respond to the feedback of players. So thank you so much to the more than one and a half million players who have participated in those tests and the countless creators and streamers who shared their footage and feedback about X Defiant. Now we're ready to look towards the future. We are currently planning on launching later this summer. But before we do that, we will be holding another test to address some of the feedback from the closed beta. This open session will be available to everyone on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S from June 21st to June 23rd. This is a short test, but we are opening it to everyone to get as much feedback as possible on our probably not a good code, sign that every time this game tuning, is mentioned, I'm and like, of course, to stress I don't out remember this at all. So if you have not played X Defiant yet, for a while. this is your chance. 
think folks so like it. I just I don't know what makes it different or stand out. We launch, but I want to hear from summer. you. Tell me about X Defiant. We will start with a. And I think it's 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 more in that Valorant that kind of, of our launch content, mm-hmm. category of competitive maps, shooter. Five factions, twenty-four weapons, and much much more. We then move into our year one content schedule, which is packed with some really exciting content, with four brand new meta changing factions, each with unique characters and skills, 12 new weapons, and 12 new maps. That's one new map every month, all inspired by Ubisoft's Monthly amazing map. world. Mm-hmm. And I think you may really be surprised at where we go. Year One is really going to have a lot of great gameplay content, all focused on creating a fun arcade FPS experience. And we are committed to staying true to our community and to strive to make X Defiant the best place to compete and have fun. Now, it's been quite the journey to get to this point. So thank you again to all of the players that supported X Defiant so far. And for everyone who hasn't yet had the chance, we hope to see you in game soon. Thank you. I'm going to say, as somebody who doesn't participate in online shooters a bunch, that did not sell me on what X Defiant is. No. No. Prince of Persia, the new one, right? Yeah. 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 That looked kind of neat in that first trailer. Yeah, this, I like this art style. I think we're, you know, we're, we're pretty deep in Spider-Verse territory with everything kind of going for a little bit of that animation style or yes. variations of it. I feel like kind of a yeah. mark, but, but hearing that this is a Metroidvania made me more interested in it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought this was just going to be a level-based thing, but on the other hand, there are 10 bajillion Metroidvanias these days, so... I mean, this is uh, all very stylish. I was kind of hoping to see more of the game. Last uh, last night or yesterday, yesterday, there was an Ebenezer Scrooge Metroidvania at the PC Games. Yes. yes. So, what? Huh. Yep. Uh-huh. What? Yep. So. What? Scroogevania. Domain, man. What? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Yeah, I guess, but what? All right. And we're cut. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's so exciting to be with you today. Fade it. Fader. About 30 years ago. <laughs> Very important in <laughs> to have a fader. <laughs> I discovered a great action-adventure game, both challenging my skills and respecting my cleverness. It was Prince of Persia. There's that leap. Game director of Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. (laughs) Time has come to open a new chapter and to journey in legendary Persia, in an era where the laws of mortals were ruled that Sands of Time remake place. essentially got restarted, you right? You are Saga, yes. oh, the fearless sword prodigy, the youngest member of a squad of seven elite warriors, the Immortals. One night, Prince Hassan, sole heir to the throne, is abducted and taken to her hostile and cursed land, Mount Calf. You and your brothers in arms are sent on a rescue mission to save Prince Hassan. However, this assignment will cast you straight into the lion's den. And it is here that you, Sargon, and the whole kingdom must prepare to face the greatest threat of your lives. This is your story. In Mount Calf, your destiny awaits. Didn't they incorporate any of like, the original ticking clock stuff, at least? I don't know, they probably won't do the time rewind, but maybe when they'll entering Mount Calf, beat the game. This? And... Mission is mm-hmm. clear. Find Prince oh, Hassan I don't, I don't and bring him so. back to Persepolis. Doesn't seem like what they're going for. 
feel like there's always been a, some kind of time thing. That's the that's the sands of time thing, I think, primarily. No, the original had the like if you don't beat it a certain oh. amount of time. Oh right. Now separated from your allies, you discover a grand citadel full of mysteries where time flows differently. Oh. What is the time. sorcery? The past coexists with the future. Well there you go. I don't know I don't know if this is like the same oh. team that was working on these or not, but this kind of feels like at some point when they stop making those side scrolling Assassin's Creed games, they're like, alright, well, what else? Semi -open world that delivers new they made like three of those. New yes. power. There you go. But to reach new areas, you have to master your skills and your sense of timing. A trade this is, um, there's some like very like Ori-esque <laughs> sure, yes. challenges in here. That's actually some, I'm super into that. Goddess and blacksmith to the gods. Some dwellers are willing to help you. Oh, wow. While others are more willing. Megasoon says it is the studio that made those, those Rayman platformers that were super good. Oh hell yes, those are great. Okay. okay, this this might actually be super cool. But Sargon is a swordsman like no other. He is a fierce warrior, known for being elusive, ruthless, and extremely skillful on the battlefield. Kind of Ori-esque combat too with the launchers and stuff. It's, yeah, this alright. I'm definitely in for this. He constantly puts his life on the line to perform the devastating attacks. Oh, ah, that's ah, not ow. supposed to happen. Are back. There you go. Ah. But I this mean, time, what the hell was that? Not only in your hands. To face such a challenge, yeah, holler for the time, lady, <laughs> and defy gravity. These edits, I will say, this guy is the most captivating presenter so far. So far, by combining all these skills, and I'm including James Cameron, you can express your creativity. But we can stay on the gameplay, it's okay. Moncap's mysteries and execute. Brutal combos in epic combat. That's just... Oh, come on, guys. I got to keep moving. Prince. We got, like, four more games to get what through. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown is all about. I'd like to thank Mentrix, who composed the in-game music you are just listening to. And, of course, my fantastic team at Ubisoft Montpellier. <laughs> we cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game. It releases on January 18, 2024, on all platforms. Thank I have you to confess, I keep forgetting the, the name of this game. <laughs> crown. Yeah, The Lost Crown. Or, or The Lost Crown. I keep just, like, every it's time. It's not a I great subtitle. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, huh. all right. You know, the, like, Blood Dragon? Oh, a Blood Dragon remake. Got it. Hi. <laughs> hey. My name is Adi Shankar. I'm a... TV and movie producer. You may know me from the Castlevania animated series on Netflix. Uh, oh, this is the guy who produced Dread. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Really? Oh, yes. shit. Or He's also a big cosplay nerd. Shorts on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. A lot of people in chat know this dude. Yeah. Seven I've heard the name years before. ago, I got a call from Ubisoft offering me the opportunity to adapt one of their uh, very, very, very serious franchises into an anime. But instead, I came back to them with a crazy concept inspired by the, the mood of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. <laughs> Smart move. Yeah. <laughs> this concept they were supposed used to applaud Ubisoft's that. vast library of characters and remixed them into one delirious anime series 
that would become this love letter to the 90s, or at least how I remember the 90s. And to my absolute surprise, Ubisoft said no. I did. I said that. <laughs> I did say that. I was bankrupt. <laughs> we were, had no money. Just kidding. They said yes. That's why I'm up here. Come on. Oh, boy. This okay, is dude. the story of how the first I like you. This isn't Comic-Con. It's a different born. audience. Captain Laser. <laughs> right. <laughs> there are 15 people yeah. there. Dragon yeah. This show is many things. It's violent. It's a dystopian fiction in the spirit of the works of Aldous Huxley. It's a spoof. It's a satire. It's dark comedy. It's a love story. And as a descendant of Indian mystics, yeah, I can tell you it's the most philosophically conscious show <laughs> you've watched in a long time. Okay. The series was picked up by Netflix. It was animated I by the Renegade wouldn't have assumed Genius this would have ended up Bobby anywhere Pearl else. Studio. And today, I'm very happy to announce that barring an apocalypse, which, which may happen, it will be released <laughs> worldwide <laughs> Muted later this year. Is that all? And that's not all. I'm even more excited to share with you an action-packed, Easter egg-filled teaser trailer oh, right boy. now. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Why? Oh. All right. You fully lost oh. me. You lost me on that one. You lost me. That's where I finally was like, all right, let's unplug this shit. Hey, well, let's yeah, spot the Easter eggs. Don't change. Uh, okay, Mega Man 2. Yes, got it. Uh, oh, nice job, bro. Okay, that was fast, but I kind of liked what I was seeing. Yeah, it looks all right. I don't really understand any of it, but sure. <laughs> ah, yes, Resurgence. Is that an atom? I think it's like a new thing. Well, Heartland is the like actual big new thing. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Are we now finally at the block party as nostalgia rock thing? I'm not ready for this. Oh, wait, did they reunit? Oh, this is a mobile game. I guess this album is almost 20 years old now, so sure. So is the division. When was the first division? Mm. I mean, 2015. I would, I would just yeah, throw a dart at that. Yeah, that's roughly correct. I think. Yeah, 16, okay. 2016. I really love this song. This is a bad fit for this trailer. <laughs> also, no idea what this is yet. It's a it's a mobile. It's a free play mobile game. Oh, I mean, like from this trailer. Like oh 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 sure. Heartland is a free to play, not mobile. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now Finally we're talking. If I don't see it on a phone screen, I can't understand <laughs> what I'm seeing. Oh, man. Oh. 
<laughs> Shout out to Block Party for getting paid, I guess. I don't uh, know. <laughs> Mary James S. Is this what you wanted, Vinny? <laughs> it is exactly what I wanted at the end there. Just show me show me those yeah. frames. Uh, hey everyone. What? It's an honor for us to be here with you today. What? We're home free, and this is our song Skull and Bones. Okay. <laughs> I, uh... Ubisoft continuing to deliver in 2023 with the most awkward press conferences you could have. What is this voice changer stuff? You don't think that's natural? You can get that low. Think? Uh, maybe maybe it is real. Is this an in-house band? Do you think? Outcast a kingpin was born upon I don't the sea. know. There was I don't know. It's got the look of like a an in-house band. You know, like hey, we're we work there. We're we playing some music. This is this the is this the level 70 elite tour and chieftain of Ubisoft? <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, what does it say about this game that they're not just showing this game? I mean, I guess they're kind of showing it. It's the time to just say, here it is, it's almost done. What is the current release date of this? Uh, does it have a like a firm date at this point? I don't know. It's moved around so many times I could not tell. I mean, yes. I don't believe this has a current date. <laughs> yes, this year or next year is what I'm seeing. Okay. Okay, yeah. Wait, close beta, August 25th. Hey, look, people are going to play this game. This is a shipping product. Are you sure? Do you want to put that out there? <laughs> hey, guys, did I miss uh, anything? No, no. We, uh, the right, Skull and Bones got All an open right. uh, or a closed beta. Oh, now. wow, that's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this just a montage? Ooh, that was... Uh... Uh-huh. Something. There you go. It is absolutely unfair to do anything related to Jet Set Radio in the modern era that is not just a new Jet Set Radio. Rocksmith. Yeah, keeping up with Rocksmith. Rocksmith class. I want to say the new Rocksmith did not, was not received well when it first launched. I don't know where it's at these days. Okay. Apparently the crew two is still going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Rabbits. Hmm. Oh. Rayman. Rayman, huh? Yeah, let's just throw another guy in here. Why not? Uh, he's like half a guy. Mm -hmm. Be fair. He's the parts that matter. 
I need a Rayman Rabbit. Wait, are they making a new The Crew? The Crew Motorfest? Listen, driving games are still very popular, and they are going to keep doing this until one of them is good. Just, yeah, I didn't get the sense that the crew had caught on that hard. I'm not sure that it did. It's a mobile game. Never actual gameplay footage. Motorfest. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Five years ago, the crew two took off. Now, each month, millions of thrill seekers, just like you, <laughs> are enjoying, playing, eager are to you see. You're talking to me like this. <laughs> next. I am Stefan Bollet, creative director of the crew. <laughs> if you must. Yes. <laughs> if you I guess must. you'll get applaud. Okay, <laughs> all right. At last, it is my pleasure. To introduce the future of the crew, Motorfest, <laughs> our own new take on the action driving genre, a celebration for car lovers to share an experience. Is this guy a car fantasy <laughs> on the <laughs> beautiful be. island? Is he our car fucker this year? Why? No matter how you enjoy cars and driving on your own or with your crew. Motorfest has something for everyone. Motorfest, your portal to a medley of high octane experiences. You choose how <laughs> you like to have fun with your cars. This is what Motorfest playlists are. This guy all sounds like he's trying about. to sell me a hot tub. Playlists <laughs> are truly at the heart of Motorfest. Wanna immerse yourself in the most exciting worlds of car culture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dive into the legacy of the world's most influential automakers. I like can't concentrate on what he's saying, just how he's saying everything. Yeah. It's not the accent, it's the delivery. It's a little the accent Light for me. Up. It is a yeah. very Street French accent. Scene. Japanese style. Tell me more about the Japanese style. Unleash the cutting edge power of electric supercars. And this is just a taste. For the first time ever, no, look at the hard we camp. leave the hard camp. <laughs> behind. Our festival has landed in one of the most breathtaking and vibrant places <laughs> on the me in the chat said oh, I think wow. I agree he's got Let's very Lumiere vibes from Beauty and the Beast yeah <laughs> playground for driving fun if he just says like ho 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 race yeah city then street like off Honolulu <laughs> barred up black cash covered slopes adventure deep into lush <laughs> Rainforest. <laughs> or cruise the dunes at sunset 
we I'm in a trance right now. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm in like a few states. And challenges are endless. The problem is, like this. as great as this Those presentation is, he's still describing a game that is still the crew. <laughs> mm. I don't know if you played any of those other game, crew games. They're not so good. one of the most diverse lineups ever. From past, present, and future. Recognize the latest from Lamborghini? I think so, yeah, I know. <laughs> you are as yeah. free as I am. To get I'm going to the make love to this Lamborghini. This beauty. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, some of you have spent a lot of energy building the perfect vehicle collection <laughs> in the Crew 2. In a few weeks, you will be able to import your vehicle collection. Yeah, this into guy's favorite movie is definitely Motor Fest for free. <laughs> Thanks. So stay tuned for more news about the collection import and our complete festival program later this month during our summer showcase. Since the beginning of the year, Thousands of players have tested the game and given us priceless feedback. Is he like slightly out of focus? Yes. I think they're using yes. a digital so zoom on a lot of this, which now like they're punching past the optical share zoom. With the world, your experience in July. From the entire team at Ubisoft, Ivory Tower, Mahalo. Thank you. Welcome to. Motor Fest. Enjoy the ride. That oh, guy was great. I have to go take a shower. Whew. Did you need to see more CG cars? <laughs> yes. Case. This is an engine footage now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm with Pal Block in the chat. This does sound like an audio network song. Knowing our luck, this will be the one that gets the stream pulled down. Oh, yeah. I don't mind this song, it's catchy. Three days early. Yeah. Well, they finally make a good game where the driving is fun. We'll find out. Hmm. No, pre order now, seriously. <laughs> no, seriously. Don't make us make another trailer. Assassins? Whoa. VR. Assassin's Creed VR? All right. I'm ready to puke. Give it to me. Mm hmm An ounce. I don't know. I've never heard of it. I have not been closely following anything related to Ubisoft's VR development. I think it was. I'm hearing yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they announced a bunch of assassin stuff a while back. I guess we have to see Mirage at this thing, right? Gosh, yeah, I, I bet that's so. what they're closing with. Yeah, that or I, I bet they saved Star Wars for last. Oh, that's a that's a good call. Or beyond good and evil, I think they'll probably just close with oh, that. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, of course. 
I started to say I played that game, but I can't spend so long. I can't remember if I did or not. I think you. I think I watched you play it. Maybe I, I definitely. I mean, I definitely went to a demo of it at E3 years ago, but I can't remember if they let me put my hands on the controller or not. Hi, Had a weird cut. I hope you enjoyed that first look at this exciting new way to play Next Assassin's focus. Creed. Focus. Hmm. Coming to MetaQuest this holiday, Assassin's Creed Nexus will push the boundaries of VR and let you become the assassin. You will feel what it means to parkour, fight, and be stealthy in new memories from three legendary assassins. You will feel what it is Ezio, like to bang your shins Sandra, on your coffee table. <laughs> I cannot wait to see our players feel the thrill of virtual reality in the Assassin's Creed universe. But there is more. Nexus is not the only game that will offer new ways to play Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Codename Jade is our first open-world RPG game on mobile. It will take you to ancient China in a time of intrigue and conspiracy. In this brand new adventure, you'll experience the iconic Assassin's Creed gameplay for free, anywhere, anytime. Mm. I am glad to announce that you can register now for the upcoming beta. Here's a glimpse of what you can expect. They better show the footage on a phone. Uh huh. How will I know? Or I won't believe it. Legacy. It's honoring those that came before us, learning from their triumphs and mistakes. To illuminate and hold their stories to the light for all to see. That inheritance of knowledge helps to guide and shape our future. Now it's your turn to build on those foundations and rise to even greater heights. To step out of the shadows and into a vast world to make your own legacy. Does UB have this level of game on mobile currently? Like, are, do they have no, a lot of these? I don't, I don't think so. Not, not in this franchise. I think the developer working on this is part of Tencent. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there hey. you go. <laughs> We've all been waiting for this moment. Assassin's Creed Mirage is a very special game, designed as a homage to the first titles of the series that many of us fell in love with. Coming October 12th, Assassin's Creed Mirage takes the franchise back to its roots. Sarah, our narrative director for the game, will come on stage to tell you more about Basim and his journey. But before that, let's watch our story trailer. Did you get the story trailer already? And listen, I'm up for more story trailer. Maybe this is a different story trailer? Well, maybe we haven't gotten this. Does that have like a more stylized cartoony look than shown previously? Ooh. Or is it, I mean, it's hard is it to always tell. shown? Okay. This is very cutscene y, so it's hard what to say. Tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. The feathers forge our paths, remind us of who we are, who we can be. The Order has held dominion over men and oh, their yeah. empires for centuries. Yeah, there she is. Strike quickly and end this. Swallow your questions, serve without complaint. Who is she to tell you when to strike? Everything you do serves the Hidden Ones. That is a strange kind of freedom.
You are not the first to walk the shadows broken. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. We are messengers of justice. And not the final judges. Knows not what he is. Have you not wondered that's your nature? <laughs> Discover the door. Discover a way to pay us one hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, that hard cut with the audio <laughs> was just weird. What does it mean to be free? What must be sacrificed in the quest for freedom and justice the hidden ones fiercely pursue? All right, check it off the list. Ubisoft you press conference. They asked again, what does it mean to be free? 12 years are. running. 12 As he years. grows from street thief to master assassin, Basim thinks he has found a sense of purpose as a hidden one working in the dark to serve the light. But his nightmarish visions keep haunting him, leading to more questions with no answer. In Baghdad, seeking the truth comes with a price. The capital of the Abbasid Empire, one of the richest, most diverse, and most advanced cities in the world, is at a turning point of its history. Unrest is growing, seeding a revolution against corruption and arbitrary justice, an uprising that will turn the tides of history and change the lives of everyone. Childhood friends, fellow hidden ones, as well as newly formed allies and enemies will shape Basim's adventure. But his horrific visions are the face of a struggle that he can only handle alone. There is a lot to look forward to in Assassin's Creed Mirage, and the best way to make you understand our unique Back to the Roots experience is to show you the game. In the following gameplay walk, I'm definitely ready to know what Back to the Roots right experience the actually means in the context of this. Main target, as he reports back to Russia. Yeah, it feels weird to be Bobby nostalgic about the first Zero. Assassin's Creed, Enjoy. but mm -hmm. I mean, I'm kind of band. nostalgic for it at this point, just because I've gone so far. But I definitely understand that game it was not that fun sometimes. I'm definitely ready for one of these games that is 100 hours. I mean, I would, I would like something that took some of those concepts from the first game, the non-linearity and the, like kind of investigative stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the tailing people and figuring out people's identities and stuff, and maybe like ran with that stuff a little harder. It's Assassin's Creed 2. I mean, if you're gonna go old school, that's probably the one. Hell, even, even that in my mind was like pretty linear and story-driven, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it had it had multiple cities and side stuff, but I wonder how open this will actually be. Out of my hands! Get the way! Yeah, I'm I'm thinking something that's more just kind of like you know. You're something more open-ended, like here's a conspiracy you need to unravel. Here are some targets. Go figure it out. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am glad you are safe. Alhamdulillah. A first of many achievements to come, Basim. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. Yeah, spin monster TV Assassin's so Creed into me. This was an Al Ghul. Fulav quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abyssia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common as the arid air. 
See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on. Then come find us. Have a look, Bassem. I may have something that is of interest to you. I guess my question is, like, going back to your, the roots is, are you going to assassinate people and try to sneak out without, you know, carving yeah. a path? You know, is there an option? Always. My thanks, Abu Jafar. Like, like, does back to the roots mean more than just we took the loot out? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Kept the menu as slowly <laughs> as possible. They kept that damn cursor, though. It's the fastest this cursor will move. Oh, looks good. Is this cross gen? I wonder. Probably not. This is the place. You think not? What oh, do you see? Oh, it is. Let us reconsider the approach. I mean, considering I think it's running off the same tech that Valhalla was running on, that doesn't really surprise me. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes, that's right. This I totally forgot about this being a Valhalla add-on originally. Yeah. Because he's a Valhalla character, right? Like, uh, He's one of the main characters in Valhalla, yeah. Okay. Act as usual. That god who likes me said she and Ali's followers are trying to overthrow the prince. What madness! They will surely fail. Okay. Stealth confirmed. One hit wrist blades. Yes, we'll see. God, I haven't I seen any like numbers on the yeah. guards yet. <laughs> right. I hated the not one hit wrist blade stuff. There you go. Yeah. What? <laughs> hey! Die now! Okay, yeah, this feels very much pre, um, uh, what is the uh, one in Egypt? Uh, Origins. Uh, Origins. Origins. Yes. Hey. And, uh, and Odyssey ah. and all of that. The sky is safe, my friend. Survey the area in Kido. Yes, the pre-Witcher era. Yes. There is my target. Targets. That's cool. It's very Splinter Cell uh, marking. What was that one where you can just mark and he just shoots when you pull the trigger? And no more need mm. die this day. Whack I remember this. which one that was. Conviction sounds like. Conviction. Okay. Wait behind you. Uh, you're not taking any damage. You're not taking any damage. Nice. Come on. One parry kills. Not gonna kill come on. He's got green gas and red gas. <laughs> Uh, listen, I've been there. Do they have different properties? Maybe one's poison and one is not poison. Less poison? Yeah. Uh -huh.
Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, feel, okay. I feel like this is an Assassin's Creed made for me. That's like, I wanted him to go back to this stuff. Go for it. I, I didn't love the the open world stuff. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. So first, I want to start by saying thank you to all gamers all around the world. It's thanks to you that we are here today. You are at the heart of everything we do. And to all Ubisoft teams around the world as well, I would like to say a big thank you. Is that John Vignocchi? Look like John Vignocchi. That's John Vignocchi. Phil was in the, in the audience too, so. Your talent and passion are at the foundation. You know, there's no rule that says he has lineup. to get up on a stage anymore. <laughs> He's it choosing to do this. I hope you are all excited to explore the amazing playground you have seen today. At Ubisoft, we are creators of worlds. We are also proud to partner with some of the biggest names in entertainment to create original stories in beloved universes. Now, I am very happy to welcome Julian from Ubisoft Massive to give you a first look at Star Wars Outlook and, and gameplay. So, thank yeah. you. I'll leave there. Uh, I'll, I'll leave. I gotta uh, go. I gotta go. Uh, uh, Wait, Maybe not get the name of the game wrong before we go. <laughs> I think he said Outlaws. It just came out a little funny. It did sound like he said Outlook. Calm, calm down. Do you want to see gameplay or not? Yeah. Oh, All right. boo. Let's get over the speech and let's get to the gameplay. Come on. Come on. Star Wars Outlaws takes place in a time of great civil unrest across the galaxy. For some, this is a time of turmoil. For outlaws, this is a time of opportunity. As a cunning thief, Kay Vess and her companion Nyx fight for survival every single day, relying on their skills and resourcefulness to get by. As they struggle to make ends meet, Kay and Nyx dream of the day that they will finally be free. But while seeking this freedom, Kay unexpectedly... I, I regret to inform this guy that no one in the wanted. chat is listening to anything he's saying because they're all fixated so on to his free pants. herself <laughs> from the bounty that follows her... The chance. <laughs> Kay will need to pull off one of the greatest heists the Outer Rim has ever seen. As they navigate the underworld, caught between criminal syndicates and vicious, ruthless villains. Kay and Nyx will manage their reputation by taking on risky contracts and navigating complex relationships, all whilst avoiding oppressive imperial rule. Kay and Nyx's journey will take them across the galaxy through stunning, varied open world locations and the wilds of space. One of these locations is to show everyone in chat complaining. He said he needed to get through the speech Winsworth before he could Savannah get to the gameplay, so he just Amber wanted to everyone to shut up so he could do that. Carved yeah. into Tashara's which is an interesting approach to getting the audience on your side. The city of <laughs> yeah, serves a little much, maybe. A, a little aggressive. Of scum and villainy. He said the line. Canix mm -hmm. will encounter several criminal syndicates that learn that everything is measured in the value of influence, reputation, or cold, hard credits. This presents an abundance of opportunities and dangers for a young, ambitious scoundrel like Kay. On behalf of Massif in Sweden, along with Ubisoft and C, Barcelona, Bucharest, Chengdu, Milan, Montpellier, Paris, Shanghai, Toronto. Oh boy. And our amazing team at Lucasfilm Games. 
It's our privilege to present and to those you are just the teams that actually get credit. first ever look at yeah. Star Wars Outlaws gameplay. Okay. If you're but willing first. to take the risk, <laughs> the galaxy is full of opportunity. Thank you. might be a question that was I should know the answer to but mm -hmm. is this like one of the first non EA Star Wars games in a while yes is this like branching out from is this like Lucas getting away from EA yeah I mean that exclusive deal ended a while ago but I think this is one of the first major ones to come out good boy so I don't think it's that they're getting away from EA. It's more that they're just broadening who can license yes. Star Wars yeah, stuff. They, yeah, they, did, they didn't dump EA or anything. It's just right, that they next. started licensing to everybody. I mean, I was, was going to say earlier, so like EA makes the Luke Skywalker game and now Ubisoft is making the Han Solo game. <laughs> She definitely shot first. Yes. You could have made it through here just sneaking around? Maybe. Probably. I would guess, yes. Dank Ferric! Sorry, Dank what? Tank Ferric! Oh, of course. That super strain that we'd all heard about. Oh yeah, speeder bike, get on it. Well, well, right? well, okay, sure. Okay, kind of quick bike. Get on it. Bye, Lance. Hang on. A lot of mark and execute here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next. 
don't know why, but on this bike and these like NPCs flying around, I'm getting like real Jack and Daxter two vibes. Mm. You know, mm. which is okay because I like Jack and Daxter too. But hey, Andy. You're late, Kay. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. No, but you Troy. What? Be careful. Donka's a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. I like her hair. Mm hmm It's a good hairstyle. Wow. If you pay $4.99... Maybe you can get a dozen. I like my odds. Mm. Kay Vess. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join us. Job was more complicated than you said, Danka. They say exactly when this you is set. <laughs> I haven't. I, I don't know. I didn't catch it. Hey, he's on toys. Snort it. Apparently, takes place between five and six. Oh, that's a cool. Oh, that's a that's an interesting time to do this. Wait, we haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Stealing um, illegal contraband, running with syndicates. Russ in the chat mentions you straight up see Frozen Han Solo in the trailer. Oh, right. But I won't have to if you're smart. No right. Thanks, but I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Let's just quick draw. You won't make it off to Shara alive. Maybe. All troopers, we have reports of a fugitive in Georgia's Hope. Move to apprehend. Moral choices. Your announcement wouldn't be about you, would it? Mm. Uh, could be. I told you not to trust her. Not the first time we've outrun the Empire. All right, big moment here, big moment. Do you fly your ship out of here or cutscene yeah. out of no here? Kidding. Cutscene out of here. Huh? Wait. Mm. There you go. Uh, right. Interesting. Are we controlling this? Or are we, we get to orbit and then we control it? Oh, it looks like it. You know, it reduced the letterbox, and that means you're taking control. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, could you fly around that world and just not land, maybe? I, I maybe, maybe. Are we oh. good? Nothing on the sensors. Yet. Wow. All right, that's cool. Yeah, that was cool. I appreciate it. Anybody on the sensors now? Tie fighters on us. Got one. I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. Even if that was under control of the uh, load or whatever, I still appreciate them showing it. Mm hmm ND, get us out of here. Huh, all right, that's cool. Just like manually setting destinations and stuff. Let's jump. There it is. Cockpit view, can you walk around the ship while you're in hyperdrive? <sighs> we made it. Wow, that's some like straight up Star Wars toy <laughs> branding on uh -huh. that, uh, that chapter. Oh title. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they know who they're selling to. Hey. 
Don't eat I'm, it. I'm into, I'm into the fuzzy weirdo, I have to say. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not made of stone. Game, so other game, you get a little next? droid. This game, you get a little mm -hmm. critter. Anywhere we want. Seems pretty cool. Yeah. Potentially. I mean, look, I've wanted something that was more in the vein of Shadows of the Empire than a lot of the Jedi stuff that has been the last several years of Star Wars games. So by all means. I mean, what was that? <clears throat> what was that Amy Hennig one? That, uh... it, it never had a final title. Okay. Yeah. Ragtag, I think, was the... It's like... Project name. Ragtag, yeah. Pitch similar to this, right? Like, uh, kind of more Ooh. scoundrels than lightsabers? Yeah. And I think the word was that one was a little more uncharted. And there was 13, 13, obviously. All right. I'm into it. That looks pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Seemed like the, seemed like the writing might be decent. I mean, not, not a lot to go on, but... It seemed bare. It had writing. The look was very good. Now look at all these people applauding. That, is that the show? I think that's the show. Is that, is that John Drake? That's John Drake. keeps asking why Athena from AEW is there. She's a big nerd. I, I don't think there's a bigger reason for that other than she's a wrestler who likes video games. They like it when famous people come to their things. Please, everyone, surround me. Give the illusion that we are uni <laughs> unified, that we have unity, that I am, have not covered up Another a lot very of things at this cut. company. What? Now subscribe to our thing. What is their thing? I've... Everybody's got a my, plus. My Everybody's points. got a plus. These days. Can I get the Sam Fisher goggles for my Prince of Persia character? I'm just going to say yes. Okay. That definitely had the feel of a several years ago E3 presentation, and I mean that for all the good and all the bad. Sure, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, other than the small crowd size and the somewhat weird editing and presentation with the audio and stuff. I there were some games. I think they'll like, show any like, new footage in this? Hi, my name is Emily Gonzalez, it. and I play K.S. Uh, yeah, in Star Wars I bet Outlaws. it's... Just recycled. Hey, yeah, I bet it's just B-roll of that demo. She's really okay. good at sneaking around. Um, you know, she's charming and she'll yeah. talk to you, but she's already I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut things. away from this. She isn't wrap perfect up here. at it, but she always um, has to get away with it. Kay really finds herself okay. I mean, maybe a little yeah. too too much the crew for me. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Never too much. But the Star Wars look cool. I think the Mirage looked interesting or neat. Uh, maybe a no, maybe more of a known quantity there. Um, what else did we have? Uh, there was that montage in the middle with kind of seven things. Some DLCs and what have you. X Defiant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the Avatar think, stuff at the beginning. Yeah, like I thought Avatar looked potentially kind of interesting. I don't think there was anything new announced here, was there? New announced. Um, Are there any no, totally new so. games here? I don't think so. Was that I think maybe that Assassin's mobile? Creed mobile thing was new, but okay. yeah, uh, I think the Assassin's Creed, um, the new Assassin's Creed, the Crown, whatever. I guess was. Motorfest was new. That was a new game. Motorfest. Uh, oh, that's right, yes, Motorfest. Yeah, I guess Motorfest leaked uh, sometime recently, but um, yeah, yeah they, they totally makes... sold me on. They totally totally sold me on Prince of Persia. Yeah, I'm um, down with that. But yeah, Mirage uh, looks interesting as a throwback. 
They let you know that Skull and Bones is still alive and having a beta. Somehow. Sure. Uh, somehow yeah. still alive. Uh, yeah. That was, that was an okay lineup. I, I'll have to go back through when I parse this stuff and look at some of the dates again to see exactly, you know, there's a lot of 24 in there. Um, I don't remember mm-hmm. exactly what was 23, but Mirage I think... Mirage is this year. Um, Star Wars was 24. Was that's Star Wars. This version is January next year. January. Okay, right. Yes. Um, um, I guess X Defiant could come out 1.0 at some point this year. It's got their, their beta they're doing, right? That's That was their announcement. Yeah, that's coming soon. Mm-hmm. that's ubisoft no yeah, it uh, is and i think that's going to wrap up our talking over uh not press conferences for this year there's a capcom thing um a little later today but i sounds like with their hard runtime of i think it was like 34 minutes sounds like that'll be them pressing play on the tape uh and running mm-hmm. through some some stuff there so that's happening later today we will not be talking over that um but we will I assume most likely be recapping some of the announcements that happened that we covered and did not cover yet over on the podcast this week. Uh, there was that PC games thing, Citizen Sleeper 2. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. sh- showed some footage, which was cool. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed what they've seen. Thanks for sticking with us while we talk over more press conferences. I love doing it. I love being able to share it with everybody out there. Y'all, Brad and Alex, seeing new games or games that maybe are not so new, but new footage. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it happens. Um, You can check out our Sony showcase, the Summer Games Fest opening night stuff, Microsoft's showcase or Xbox's showcase. And then uh, this archive will go up later. But those archives are up now. You can go check them out. Um, We'll be back soon. Uh, Rest of this week, we got a grab bag coming up on Thursday and on Friday. We'll be back streaming again. Also, we got the watch cast, the ramble cast, and the podcast all this week. So join us. You can check out some of that stuff over on our Twitch and YouTube channels. We also got patreon.com slash nextlander. Brad Shoemaker, Alex Navarro, thank you very much. Another E3 season wrapping up. Maybe another one next year. Z3 come back officially? No, it doesn't. No. no. Absolutely. <laughs> no. 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 Nope. No. Nope. 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 This was all right. Definitely not. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.